Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Aftermath. It is the morning of day four and last night I was thinking that we should put a kitchen in since we don't have one and I started looking into items that we need to craft and that's when I realized how limited we are when it comes to decorative items that we can craft. There's pretty much two pages here and that's it. So it's like chairs. <laughs> chairs and mailboxes and, and more chairs couches and sofas and that's it in terms of stuff we can craft anyway there are other options in terms of decorative items if we go to the shape menu under the frames and then click on uh decor we've got tables uh you know cabinetries and cupboards and sinks uh bookshelves vertical blinds which is pretty cool i've never seen these before so that's pretty sweet. But that's really it. I mean, there's not much more. You know, there, there's no um, appliances. So we can't craft a microwave or a refrigerator or an oven. And then I did some tests with traders to see what we can buy from them. And all the traders I went to uh, in different worlds and shit, none of them had any appliances that I could buy. So it's like we can't get that shit unless we open up the creative menu which is not something i want to do if i was going to do everything from the creative menu then i would just do a regular old house flipper you know what i mean i did craft a bike last night so that's kind of cool uh and i am really surprised on how well this series was received you guys really like the idea of no zombies and just kind of doing creative shit but i just think we're way too limited here in vanilla so, um, this is going to be it for now. Um, but moving forward, I think we just need to add some mods. There's like decorative mods we can add in or maybe run this in Undead Legacy because from what I understand, you can craft everything in Undead Legacy and it's a bit more of a grind, but that's good. I don't mind grinding for resources if we don't have to worry about zombies and shit. So, I think that's the better way to do it with some mods or maybe just in Undead Legacy and then Aftermath can carry on in the future. But for now, in vanilla, it's just not a viable way to, to play. So uh, I have a way that we can end this that I think will be pretty fun. I'm going to give myself, uh, I don't know, 50 million experience points. What level does that take me to? Oh, 300? Shit. I didn't mean to go that high. Oh, well. We're maxed out now. All you need is 50 million experience points. Uh, we got a ton of skill points, but I'm not going to spend any of them. We're going to leave our character just the way he is. I'm going to eat some meat, though, because we're starving. And then we're going to take the bike around town and try and scrounge up as much resources as we can to fight a horde tonight. Because we don't have much of that stuff at all. So we need guns, we need ammo, we need throwables. I got some first aid, but we could use more of that. And then as night approaches, I will turn zombie spawns on and we're going to bring on a horde and hold it down at our house and see how that goes. Okay, let's uh, try and find the main stash and get out of here. That's locked. Well, where the hell? Oh, there we go. Got to climb up here. This is uh, a compo pack POI. I'm assuming I don't want to explore too many of them with zombies turned off because a lot of them hold surprises when it comes to zombies and shit. And I don't want to ruin any of those surprises. You know, I'd rather if I'm going to explore a POI for the first time. I'd rather there be zombies, you know. We could use cobblestone because I want to do a little bit of upgrading. I figure what we're going to do is... Uh, Upgrade the ladder that leads up to the attic, and then we'll put a hatch up there, maybe some bars, and uh, make a stand in the attic tonight. That's not going to help us. Uh, the gun safe might have stuff in there that could help us, but I'm not beating into that with my stone axe, and I don't have any lock picks, so we're just getting the hell out of here. Now uh, take the bolts and read the book and take the food. Magnum ammo. We don't have a magnum, but maybe we can find one. Fucking cornmeal. 
let's check the crack a book crate real fast. Nail gun. Oh, you know what? Probably should have sold that. Because I am going to stop at Rex. I believe he's got some ammo that we can buy. So, once we loot a little bit more and got some shit we can sell, we'll go over to Rex and see what we can buy. Well, this is a cruel joke. How am I supposed to get to that? If it was Darkness Falls, I could duck under the bars, but it's not. Oh, that's some bullshit. Oh, well, I'm not sitting here and beating through the bars with 2,500 hit points. Stupid cabin. What do we got upstairs? Uh, a gun safe, of course. Another thing I'm not beating into. Let's just get the hell out of here. This'll do. Now, we're supposed to go in through the top there, so I'm just going to break in through the front door. Should take us to the main stash quicker. That's all I care about. That's where we're most likely to find a weapon and ammo. It's not upstairs. It's got to be a downstairs. Sports bag. Nope. Nothing we can use. I'm a little hungry. There we go. Coffee? No. Alright. Uh, this way. Through here. More cobblestone? Uh, yep. Yeah, I guess so. Bolt's pretty much useless. Take the coin. I do have my coin and some items to sell in the bike already, so when we go to Rex... Uh, oh, shit, I shouldn't have read that. Should have sold that auger schematic. Here we go. I'll sell both of those things. Well, here's an opportunity. Oh, you just got killed by a bicycle, bitch. I don't even need the meat. Just having some fun. Here's a place I'm familiar with. Actually did a house flipper on this place in the past. Wait, I think there's an ammo pile in here? No, it's just trash. Floor should give out right there. Or not. That's weird. It used to give out. Uh, the loot is not in the basement. I always think it's going to be in the basement. Then I remember it's actually up here. Uh, in the attic. Not in there. Up here. There we go. This floor should give out. Yeah, some of it does. Uh, arrows. Let's sell those uh, armor parts. 762. That works. We do have a pipe machine gun back at home, so that's something. I'll take that now. Even though I probably should have saved both of those vitamins for the horde. Uh, I know I said I was going to avoid compo pack POIs, but it's a police station. It's got to have guns and ammo, right? And that's exactly what we're looking for. Hopefully, uh, the loot is easy to find. Oh, that's a lot of books. Oh. They're fake. Well, not all of them are fake. Most of them are fake. Sell that. All right. Where's the goods? Not in there. I doubt they're in there. Oh, here are the holding cells. There's uh, some food in here, which we could use. Drink that water now. We got a couple crates right here. Savage Country sometimes has ammo. Iron. Could actually use the iron later for hatches. Oh, look at that. Level 4 compound bow. That's going to be much better than that shitty level 1 primitive bow. And some ammo. Nice. Uh, we can't use the steel arrowheads. Because I can't craft those arrows now anyway. And a gun safe. That's also useless to me. Let's see what Wrecked has. 
Let me know if we got to come back later if we can't afford something or whatever. Oh, all my shit to sell him is uh, in the bike. And that's where all my coin is, too. I'll be right back, old man. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, well, I'm not going to tip you anyway, motherfucker. This ain't a restaurant. What am I tipping you for? For buying shit from you? Here we go. This should net us a decent amount of coin. All right, let's see what we got. Pipe weapons, not really into. Crossbow, mm, here we go. Level three AK, oh, we can almost afford that. Okay, uh, well, we just gotta go get a few things. And we'll come back and buy that AK. Uh, there's not going to be much in here. Ammo pile. There we go. 762. And I'll take that mod, actually. We could sell that to Wrecked. And that's pretty much it. There might be some shit on the rooftop here, but let's just find someplace better. Holy shit, is this Moe's Bar from The Simpsons? That's certainly what it looks like. Oh, we gotta check this place out. I don't even care about ammo right now. Look at this fucking A, dude. Moe's Bar, this is the shit. Oh man, I wanna live here. Okay, I'll eat that. Let's see. You got any mega crushes for me, Mo? Murky water, beer. Of course there's beer. More beer. More beer. And more beer, that's good. I like that, even though I don't need the beer right now. This is locked. This is the bathroom, isn't it? Oh, no. This must be Moe's office, and this is where all the loot is. I'll eat that now. Fuck it. Let's see what we got in here. Give me something good. Okay. Uh, take all that. More arrows. Paper, don't need. More magnum ammo. Man, we need to find a magnum. Oh, there we go. Sell both of those things for some coin. And uh, this is the bathroom, right? Yeah, this is the bathroom. Oh, some supplies. Can I search this? I can. Yeah, sewing kit. No thanks. And what is this? Stairs. There's an upstairs to Moe's bar. Oh, it's just the roof. Dude, this is so fucking cool. I've never seen this before. I love it. All right, we got to go. And that gives us enough for the AK. We got to buy it. All right, now, 762. Oh, I can't afford all of it. I'll buy what I can, and then we're going to have to come back and buy the rest. Or I'll just sell this steel helmet and buy the rest right now. Got a supply drop coming in. I forgot. I didn't disable supply drops in Aftermath. Let's go grab it. Of course. The Glock Tower. Son of a bitch. Alright. Well, at least we know where the loot is here. Bam. Big ass chest, which unfortunately we can't get into. But there's a bunch of shotgun messiah crates. That could certainly help out. Uh, I'm not taking bolts anymore. Forget the bolts. We got a compound bow, so... I'm not going to use a crossbow. 9mm. Be nice if we can find a, a gun that shoots 9mm. Or any gun, for that matter. Ooh! Level 6 Desert Vulture, and we've been picking up Magnum ammo all day. That is a beautiful thing right there. I wish we could get in there, but we can't. There is, however, some more ammo piles and a, uh, ooh, it's a gun safe down here also, but we can't get into that. There should be a weapons bag behind the counter, and there's some shit over here as well. Eh, level 6 club. Armor, that's good. We could use the armor. It'll help us from getting our ass kicked too bad. Eh, don't need that. Food? Oh, you son of a bitch. Ow! Here we go. 
Weapons bag. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. And we've been picking up shotgun ammo. And I got shotgun ammo back at home. I'm going to level six auto shotgun. Oh, that's nice. A whole bunch of 762 and magnum ammo. We are looking good right now. I was getting a little nervous, but now I think we might actually have a fighting chance. Oh, shit. <laughs> We're okay. I'm fine. Let's grab this supply drop now. I guess we'll just pull up onto the roof here. I never actually went into the clock tower last time we were here. Oh, there's some crates up here. Nice. More 762 and brass casings. We got a food crate right here. I'll eat. And a cracker book and a working stiff tools crate. I'll just read those things. We're not going back to Rex. He's got nothing else for us. Can't use any of that. And, uh, shit. Okay. I guess we have to pull up to get the supply drop. Food and what's this? A ranged mods bundle. Let's see what we got. Ooh, drum magazine mod. And uh, let's put this on the bow. And that's a full auto mod. You know what? Let's put both of these on the shotgun. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Military gloves, I'll wear those. And uh, some more ammo. Good. I don't need the buckshot. I'll craft as much 7.62 as I can when we get home. And uh, that'll be it. We got some SWAT trailers over here. What's inside? Oh, look at this. Can't use it. Uh, I, already, I already got boots. Let's check the other ones, though. Because you never know. You would think they would have some ammo in here. Look at this. Ah. Could turn those into arrows right now. And first aid. I'll take the antibiotic. Nope. And... No. There's a nice loot pile here. We just need to go grab all the keys to open up all the doors. Oh, hey, buddy. Want to be the first chicken killed by a flashlight? There you go. All right. I think we got all the keys. This door's open, and then there's a door behind these barrels, and it's open. Okay. It's a shame we don't have... Time charges or lockpicks. Because there's a chest and a gun safe in here that we're just not going to be able to get into right now. We need more iron. Anyway, this is our first fallback point right here. After this shit fails. Which probably won't take too long. And then we can have even another fallback point right here. Alright, here we go. I'm, I'm starting to hear some footsteps. I probably should have opened the front and back door. It sounds like that's what they're working on. But anyway... We got a recog in us, five minutes of uh, increased ranged weapon damage, and I got another one to drink if we need it. A few throwables, which I'll probably make use of right here at the hatch. And we got a decent amount of ammo. 
Here we go. They're finally inside. Oh, man. Maybe I should have put another piece of ladder in, because this doesn't go all the way to the ground. There's a cop. Ah, he found his way up. All right. We should be good. Nice. Uh, can you despawn, big boy, please? Oh, my God. We got a radiated big boy. Holy shit. Radiated big boy is up. This is not going to last at all. Oh, my God. Fuck. Well, this is a problem. <laughs> Catch, bitches. There go my only throwables. Oh, my God. We're behind the second door already. This is not going to last. And, uh, that's all, folks. That's all I got. Shit. <laughs> oh, boy. I guess we'll just run around the house for now. Um, I have to make some frames. And we can get up on the rooftop. That's an option. Okay. Nice. Oh, yeah, good thing for this Magnum. Oh. Here we go, right in this corner. Bam! Get up on the roof. Okay, take a little breather now. They're going to rip right through this house, but that's fine. Uh, okay. Let's uh, punch a hole in the roof, because I bet the zombies can still get up to the attic. Maybe we can shoot down on them. Shit. How'd you get up here, big boy? Oh, God. They found a way. They're breaking right through the roof themselves. Son of a bitch. The duct work is doing me in. Oh, God. There's no safe haven. Let's get this cop to blow up. That could at least be fun. Do it, buddy. Yes. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, God. We're gonna die. Well, let's do what we can up here, and then we'll hop down, and then maybe climb back up here, and uh, that's, like, the only strategy I can think of. Unless I can somehow destroy the ductwork and prevent them from being able to get up on the roof. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> hey, Kenny. Look at this mess. Oh, shit. That sucked. Okay, back up on the roof. I'm going to use the one and only first aid kit that I have. Get our health back up to full. And here we go. Maybe I can destroy that ductwork there. Oh, no, there's another way for them to get up. Maybe if I destroy enough of the roof, <laughs> we'll be good. Holy shit. I mean, there's a delay. There's a slight delay, right? So I jump off the roof. They all jump off with me. Oh, shit. We got to watch out for cop puke. And then we can pull right back up to the rooftop, whereas they have to kind of run through the house and shit. So there's a slight delay there. And we could take advantage of that, I guess. It's our only option. Nice. Let's go through the house. How are we looking in here? Pretty fucked up. Oh, boy. Let's not get stuck. Yeah, there are multiple ways out. A cop to blow up, maybe? Is he gonna go? Oh, sweet. That's how it's done. Let's get back up on the roof. It'll give me a chance to reload. Oh, he's coming right up the ladder. I mean, it is a slight delay, like I said. Very slight, though. Hey, that worked out. 
Now they're stuck down there. That was pretty sweet. Oh, no, they're finding another way up. Okay. Let's uh, eat a piece of meat here. That might help our stamina out a little bit. Uh, what if we jump onto the fence? Give us a moment to uh, breathe. Oh, no, we're getting puked at. Okay. Try and get these cops to blow up if I can. Man, our stamina sucks. Yes! That's how we do it. Grab some of these frames back. And we'll use them again right here. I always forget that aiming down the sights of a gun uses stamina. Oh, shit. That didn't work. Fuck. Destroyed all those frames. <laughs> we got more. Eight more. That's plenty to get us up on the roof. Uh, yeah, so we want to, like, shoot from the hip here when we can to uh, try and conserve some stamina. That's actually not bad. You know, we might be able to win this fight. Let's get back up on the roof. All right. Reload. Gonna have to repair this AK. Oh, God, there's a demolisher down there. I definitely thought they were going to take this house down, but unless I can prevent them from getting up on the rooftop, that's just not going to happen, because uh, why would they attack the house? You know, if I'm up on the roof, they're just going to climb up here to get to me. Oh, there's the demolisher. Get his ass to blow up up here. That could be fun. Yes! <laughs> oh, sweet. Shit. Cop! Um, he's gonna blow. Let's let him do that. Oh. There we go. Um... Can they not get up here? Oh, if that demolisher blew up the ladder, then they can't get up here. We did it. We fucking did it. I mean, not really, <laughs> but at least we can chill up here now. Shoot down on them. And it's just a waiting game until they take down the whole house. Oh, I did bring repair kits. So that's good on me. Let's repair the AK. And get as many kills as we can until the house falls. Oh, how'd you get up here, you little shit? Another demolisher down there. I wouldn't mind setting him off. He's a cop, and we can get him to blow up. Come on, get pissed. Oh, don't you puke at me. Oh, shit. No. 